Begin with session. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Vishon Jones, visionary of Fedora Outlier LLC. And um, yeah, so about 12 o'clock yesterday, I get a call from a person that I haven't talked to in over seven years. And at that time, the person was newly blind and was looking for help. And I gave him the best advice that I could, which was the same advice I've been giving uh, pretty much since I've become blind, which is whatever you can see in your mind and believe in your heart, you can do it. Now, I probably said that in a different way then because I couldn't really articulate it, but I knew that what I was told when I became blind, I can't speak for anybody else, but when I became blind, it was just one leader in the state and everybody listened to him. Um, I was told that blind people always needed a handout versus a hand up. I was told that you couldn't do it. Um, I was told that blind people didn't have any money. I was told that you needed to be beholden to the centers for the visually insane or visually impaired. <laughs> I get that from Ricky. Um, and just all these negative things. Now, at the same time, I'm chapter president of a chapter and I'm telling people like just the opposite because I didn't agree to any of that when I became blind. I didn't agree that the things that I was told were true, right? And so it led me on this different path, this path to find out why are they telling us these things, right? Because it wasn't just me, but I'm I'm going to speak up about it because, you know, it'll help someone else. But why are you telling me what? I can't do. Who are you? And, you know, let's be real. Like what the lady told me yesterday, right, is that her counselor told her that she could not be a writer. She could not be a psychologist. She could not do those things. And I said to her, I said, go look up how much a counselor makes, right? We're talking 32, 35, 38,000 and your field pays 190,000. Why would a person making five times less than your dream tell you that you can yeah, do news. it? Oh, man. Sorry about that. Um, if you heard it, it's one of the notifications. Leslie hates when the not notifications come through. But <laughs> you just have to not agree to that, right? And think about this. So when she calls, she says, Vashon, hey, have you opened up your facility here in Georgia? And I'm like, wow, I just finished looking at the email um, that came over for our first client coming in on the 24th. Plane ticket has been purchased um, you know, food and vouchers and all that. So like, it's going to happen, right? A dream come true. And I had to tell her, I said, you know, you won't get to be the first, but you can be taught by us. Right. And it's like, if I would have listened, if I would have agreed to the things that I was told, then I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be shooting this video. I wouldn't have 32 team members. I wouldn't be teaching all around the world. You know, I, I just wouldn't. But when somebody tells me that I can't do something, I continue to prove um, them wrong because it's not about me. I know what I can do. I can do whatever I put my mind to. I can do whatever it is I put my mind to. And that's what I told her. But she said, you know, hey, Vishon, my mom died. My family is treating me weird. Um, but strangely enough, I'm ready to fight. She said that, you know, the last time she had a VR case, her counselor told her that. But she said, I'm ready to fight. And I said, you know, it's not a fight. 
when you come in there armed with what you need, and when I say there, I mean vocational rehabilitation, and you know what you want to do and the pathway that you want to take to get there and the tools that you're going to need to help you get there, and more importantly, your why, your why you want to do it, because that's what's going to fuel you when it's hard. Um, that's what's going to fuel you when you don't feel like doing it. That's going to what's going to fuel you when you feel like you have to fight your why. Why are you doing it? Right. And it can't just be about money and a job. It has to be about your purpose and your passion and your meaning in life. And that's the same advice in um, different ways that I give everybody because it's true. It's, you know, it just has to be like that medicine when you're a kid. Sometimes you have to put it in, you know, a kid's Flintstone tablet. Sometimes you put it in castor oil. You know, sometimes you put it in a caplet. Sometimes it's in pill form, but it's the same um, medicine. And you just can't agree with things that doesn't make sense to your worldview of what you want to do <clears throat> as long as it's you know your meaningful purposeful profitable um venture so listen start not agreeing you know it's like politics you don't agree with the crap that's out there you know it's like is a perfect example if somebody walked up to you and say, hey, the donkey continues to kill that ice cream every day. Hey, the donkey continues to kill ice cream all over the world. You're going to say, man, they're crazy. You don't agree with that. Same thing. You're blind. You can't do it. You're blind. You can't make that type of money. You're blind. You can't achieve that. You're blind. You're blind. You're disabled. You're disabled. Man, if you believe that crap, It'll continue to get the same results. It's only when you get up off of your ass and um, decide to to make a change that a change will happen. So, listen, I'm Vasan. It's literally. Let me see. Uh, November eighth at three forty five a.m. So, I'm about to move on to my next. Thing on my list. Hopefully, this helps someone. If it does, leave a comment, shoot an email at excellence at fedoraoutlier.com. Uh, call us at the same email address, all that great stuff. And uh, let's change the world. Let's change the world together. End session.